Easily, easily one of my favorite pieces during the fall and the winter time is the overcoat. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about where to begin if you're just starting out with overcoats, how they should fit, and then also I'm gonna show you five different ways you can style yourself in them to be looking great. Let's go. Okay, so you're interested in getting into overcoats but you don't really know where to start. Perfect, as with everything that we talk about here pretty much, the very most important thing, say it with me kids, versatility. Going with colors like a camo brown or a black or a dark charcoal gray, that is always gonna be the best place to begin because they can be worn with the most amount of things. I just recently got this one from Fashion Nova. It's a double breasted dark gray. I think this is probably one of the smartest ways that you can start out with overcoats because gray works with black and it works with brown. So the more outfits you can wear a jacket with, the better because it's money well spent. So now that you know what to be looking for, let's talk about how it should fit when you find one that you actually like. An overcoat should pretty much fit like a normal coat does, even though you are technically wearing it over other layers, hence the name overcoat. It doesn't need to be big and oversized. Sure, if you wanna make that style choice, you can. I'll show you one in a second that is a little bit oversized in comparison to this one. If you're starting out and you're very interested in overcoats, getting something that fits relatively tight around the waist, you don't want it to be skin tight, because again, you're wearing it over things, but you also don't wanna be swimming in it because it's just gonna be a lot less flattering. I always buy a medium in jackets. This is a medium. If you wanna size up, you can. Depending on your personal style preference, you can get something that again, is a little bit bigger because it still looks nice. It kind of is on trend right now, but if you're planning on keeping this for a few years into the future, you might not get as much wear out of an oversized one than you do from one that fits you kind of just properly. Quick change. So now that you know what you're looking for and how they should fit, let's jump right into how you can style yourself in these jackets to be looking amazing. First and foremost, something super casual. I love the fact that you can throw it over a otherwise extremely casual outfit and add a lot of extra style to your look. Start it out with just a nice, simple graphic tee, some slim denim, just clean blue jeans, throw on the jacket over the top. Also a camel coat can work well over black and blue. You can mix the colors all around, but the fit is what really sets it apart. If you're gonna keep it open, feel free to tuck your shirt a little bit just to kind of clean up the outfit a little bit. Looks really nice so far. And then to finish it off, let's get some accessories going. Got my glasses on. These aren't even prescription. They're blue blockers, but it's a fashion accessory, guys. Even if you don't need glasses, you can still wear them. Look at this. For my watch, I did something black because my shirt and my shoes are black. I always like to keep my accessories pretty uniform. Little simple casual ring, little bracelet, just little pops of personality to add a little something to the outfit. Overall, very casual, very easy. Most anybody could wear this and look awesome. Okay, for our next look, if you're wearing an overcoat, there's a good chance that you're gonna be doing something outside. So I'm a huge fan of wearing flannel and some chino pants just to kind of embrace a little bit of a more outdoorsy vibe. Wearing a gray pair of pants, so I'm gonna go with the gray coat. For shoes, if we are doing something outdoorsy, I feel like a boot is probably best, so. Some blundstones. I like the way that the pants just kind of stack on top of the shoe. Very comfortable. Really pretty casual, honestly but also extremely stylish because of the coat and the fact that it matches with the pants. With it being the holiday season during the fall and winter time, obviously there's probably gonna be some opportunities that you need to dress up for, right? Going with a little bit of a bolder shirt underneath this slightly gray patterned double-breasted suit. Very dressy, but also not too formal because of the fact that I'm not wearing a tie. And with this, since I am doing a brown shoe, I'm gonna go with the camel overcoat. It fits really nicely over the suit. It still lets a little bit of the shirt poke out. So you kind of get the three different layers of color there, which I really love. You can pop the collar, 
if it's very cold wherever you are wearing it just to keep yourself a little bit warmer. I also think this is actually kind of a little bit more stylish. In terms of accessories for this one, gold watch, gold ring, just a couple things to make me feel a little bit more dressy, a little bit more upscale because it's the holidays. Why not? Now, if that first look felt just a little bit too casual for you, you want to dress things up a little bit more, then you can go with a button up shirt. It's the same one that I just wore with the suit because versatility, some dark slim denim and some brown boots. And obviously the brown coat would work really well, but I feel like I've been wearing that a bunch. So we're going to go with the gray again to show you that gray can still work really well against earth tones. This is a really nice outfit for when you're kind of in between, when you don't want to be super casual with a t-shirt, but you don't want to be super formal with a suit. Buttoning the shirt all the way up, I think is a really fun style move during the fall and winter time. I'm a big fan of that. And finally, this is a move that I learned a couple of years ago. It's definitely a little bit more edgy, a little bit more fashion forward, but there are times when you're going out and you want to look really nice. So start with just a black long sleeve shirt got some black jeans and black boots on. Then with the denim jacket, you button it closed and it ends up acting as a mid layer over your t-shirt and under your overcoat. Because of the fact that, like I said earlier, this one is a little bit oversized. It works really nicely with a look like this, but I just really enjoy the extra texture of the denim underneath the overcoat like this. I feel super stylish in a look like this. It's not something that you're gonna wear every day, obviously, or, or if you do, fantastic, you're a stylish person. Accessory-wise, I'm always a big fan of how silver pops against uh, black for those times when you need to kind of step out, be a little bit more fashion forward, you're going out to an event or some sort of special occasion, a look like this can work awesome. This is just a look I feel good in. So. There you go, guys. Now you know what to look for, you know how they should fit, and you know several different ways to style yourself in different overcoats. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting a ton of different ideas aside from what I just showed you on how I'm styling myself in overcoats this year. Appreciate you guys. If you have any questions about anything specific, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, tell a friend about the channel, and I'll see you next time.